Well, Global Edmonton plays an active part in the Edmonton's Crime Stoppers program. And on the first Tuesday of every month, we bring you some great tri tips, not trips, tips. Uh, AMA does the trips. We'll do that on Friday. To help make the City of Champions a safe place to live and joining us now this month, we have uh, uh, Fla Flavia Robles and Sergeant Ron Smithman. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Nice to see you guys again. So just without talking about what we're supposed to for a moment here, sure. you, you don't recommend that somebody chase somebody down to try to make the arrest on their own, do you? Like oh, we saw on that definitely list. not. There's so many dangers with weapons and these types of things, and you don't know what t types of drugs these people are on. It's definitely safer to give us a call and let us come right, in and do right. our job. We're pr right. properly protected. At least there was a happy ending there. Yeah, that's right. So, Constable, uh, now the kids are getting back to school, and we have to start worrying about uh, a bunch of different issues. Uh, number one is what happens in the school. Number two, what happens while well, the kids are sitting at home, maybe doing their homework on MSN, they're on the Internet. How big an issue is uh, cyber bullying and internet safety, that type of thing? Well, I've been a school resource officer now for four years, and it, it's increasing each year uh, with different uh, websites such as Nexopia and MSN. Uh, the biggest problem we're seeing is that a lot of youth are giving out their passwords to their friends, and then their friends are end up logging on as them, and, and maybe they're mad at them, so they, they, they end up contacting somebody else. and getting angry with them and then they're threatening and it ends up being pretty bad. A lot of the youth are, aren't afraid to st state things on the internet that they wouldn't say to a person's face sure. so they're uttering th death threats and these types of things. So we take it really seriously and we investigate them as, as such. Okay. Another issue uh, working in the schools as you do on a regular basis is theft in schools. And I remember uh, my son one year we had to buy him one of those graphing calculators for 150 bucks, left it on his desk, just turned his head, it was gone like that. Police officer came in and uh, came in and, and tried to do an interrogation to determine this this must be happening all the time. Then. It's it's incredible. Those um those Texas Instrument calculators are a hot commodity. People will steal them and then maybe sell them for a gram of marijuana or something like this, but um, around the time, especially when uh, the tests come up, people are taking them left, right, and center. What I suggest to the math teachers is ensure that the t uh, students write their name on it so it helps out the investigator quite a bit when we can, a lot of times it's scratched over, but we're able to see the name and be able to solve a lot of investigations that way. The other hot commodity right now is the iPods. The, oh, these sure. things are incredible. I wish kids would just keep them at home because you know what? They're 300 to $500 each and uh, you set it down for one second. A student set one down in our cafeteria and uh, turned his head and by the time he turned back, it was gone. Yeah. So Flavia, what kind of solution does uh, Crime Stoppers uh, possess for situations like this? Um, what we're trying to let pe uh, the kids know specifically uh, this month is that they don't have to consider themselves a rat and that sort of thing. They can actually make that difference, remain a non and specifically for the children when they're and the, the youth that don't want to tell on their friend perhaps they're involved in drugs or they know that they're carrying a weapon to school you want them to step up and make a difference be anonymous and collect a reward for it sure. for doing the right thing and speaking of carrying a weapon unfortunately we are running out of time constable if we can just briefly just hold up uh, what you have this is you found this stuff in schools these these weapons and, and the, the drugs and that type of thing huh? yeah just over the last few years and these are just a few but uh, what young people have to realize is that youth are possessing these weapons and they say it's for their protection. Also, we're, we, when we're involved with the uh, Prevention of Youth Tobacco Use Act, we're, we're seizing cigarettes off youth and inside we're finding marijuana, these types of things. These so guns and knives. Yeah, oh. BB guns and right here we have a little drug dealer's kit. We have a cell phone and a way scale. Kids in the parking lot will set up their kit. They have their way scale, their uh, marijuana divide up their drugs. And sadly, this is elementary kids to this is elementary from, kids from grade 6 to grade 12, the so whole gamut. You just have to be careful and let, you know, uh, youth and teens know. I mean, 1 in 10 active teens are affected by violence every day. There's some people watching this morning going, you know what, maybe I'll homeschool my kids <laughs> exactly. instead. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank so you so much for coming in today. Thanks. I hope we've, uh, we've helped out some parents and some students watching this morning. If you have a tip, call 1-800-222-TIPS. For more information on Crime Stoppers program, log on to crimestoppers.ab.ca.